interested, please welcome Ben Weston. Ben. I want to bring to your attention a global pandemic that is being completely ignored and one that no one believes can be solved. Countless men around the world believe they cannot dance. <laughs> a year ago, one of those men came to me. He's in his 50s, married, and during our first lesson together, I asked him why he wanted to learn to dance. He said, my wife and I have been married for 25 years, and I love her just as much today as the first day that I met her. I would do anything to make her smile. But when we go out together, and there's dancing involved, <laughs> I immediately feel self-conscious and have no idea what to do with my body. I just want to be able to go out and have fun dancing with her. Not long after, he went out dancing with his wife and said that for the first time ever, he felt as if he had permission to move how he wanted to move. He felt good, he looked good, and his wife loved it. <laughs> Tonight, I want to show you just how easy it is for any man to enjoy dance like that. <laughs> this first step changed my life. This is the move you do when you walk into a club, your friends are beckoning you to come dance, and you're thinking to yourself, I am way too sober for this. Uh-uh, nope. This is the move you do when you're dancing in front of that gorgeous creature. Your mind is racing to think of the next move to do, and you suddenly realize you've already used up all two of your moves <laughs> 10 minutes ago. May I present the two-step? Step to the right, feet touch. Step to the left, feet touch. That's it, the two-step. All right, right about now, most of the men in this room have the exact same question. But what do you do with your arms? <laughs> the first thing you're going to do is pull your hands out of your pockets and stop hiding behind your drink because the most confident and powerful version of you is not going to be hiding. Now, as for arm movements, my personal favorite is a little old school. Okay, I can hear you guys laughing, see some of you smiling. If that's because the thought of doing this feels a little silly or goofy, that's okay. Because just smiling will automatically make your dancing look better. But the real power in the two-step is not in the move itself. The magic comes when you add flavor. Flavor is making the move your own. It's moving according to how the music makes you feel. If it's playful, two-step playfully. <laughs> if it's sensual, two-step sensually. <laughs> if it's aggressive, make it aggressive. Bah, 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 bah. Take a simple move and add your personal flavor to it. That's what makes you look good on the dance floor. Not the moves you do, but showing who you are through them. Because in the end, dance is just your presence to a beat. You don't need fancy moves to look good. You just need to show up fully as yourself. And that's what makes dance so scary and so necessary. Men learning to dance is more than just learning to look good in front of women and friends. It's about becoming the superhero version of yourself. Because when you dance, it takes courage to honor and express every facet of your being for everyone to see. You become pure joy. You become your sexuality. Boom. You become your powerful aggression. When you dance, you unleash the sublime version of you. You are not only affecting change in yourself, 
you are creating waves of positive karma that ripple among everyone around you. And all it takes is starting with a simple two-step and a little bit of flavor. Thank you.